networking. 213, Wednesday, week six, transport layer. We did a lab in class. We reviewed the layers a little bit. Actually, we used it in our discussion. <clears throat> we did a lab, we called it TCP. Communications, we looked at packets. We boot to the network side, then we downloaded PuTTY, made sure we had PuTTY, PuTTY.org. Then we had Wireshark, we started Wireshark, and then the students logged into this site in 7231080 using PuTTY with these credentials. And then we made the point of talking about it's SSH port 22. Then they did an analysis, they looked at the packets and so forth on Wireshark. So they had to stop Wireshark, look at the packets, see if they could find the connection where it was their computer communicating to this IP here and communicating back in Wireshark and look at the packets and look at the TCP part of the packet, Transmission Control Protocol. Then from there they telnet it to 172.312.250 using Cisco as the password and they did that right from where they had logged in already and they weren't able to really view that communications because those packets were being encrypted. So they did a brief analysis on that and then they came back <clears throat> and they used PuTTY to telnet to that device. They had Wireshark on, then they exited out right away, turned Wireshark off, and then they did analysis of those packets. And then I did a opened a TFTP server on my computer and we downloaded some information and then we came back and analyzed those packets so that we could see the difference between the transmission control packets and the TFTP packets. We reviewed the curriculum for TCP IP. The students took the chapter 4 assessment on TCP IP, the transport layer, and we will do the pre-assessment for chapter 5 on Friday. And that's it.